Hello beautiful air signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, I'm super happy to have you here. Um, very delighted and honored that you decided to click on this video. My name is MJ. Welcome to my creative intuition tarot. So air signs today I'm inviting you to your reading for May 2022 and this is a general reading for the collective of earth signs. Um, a reading especially for your sign will be coming up in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that um, if you're interested and today's reading because it's general can relate to any area of your life so as always listen with an open mind heart listen to your intuition take the messages as they feel relevant for you as they resonate with you not every bit and piece of those messages um, will resonate and that's fine okay so take what's yours leave out the rest um, the cards are already on the table that is primarily for the benefit of time. I don't like rushing uh, the process of pulling the cards. It often takes time, especially if I want to allow myself some time to shuffle the decks now, allow the cards to just jump out on their own. So I hope you don't mind. Um, the key are the messages and I'm really excited for the messages that I have for you for May um, because these are beautiful messages and I'm sure you see the first card is the peacock. So beauty is in the air okay the full card uh to the right is related to may collective reading uh, so i encourage you to if you haven't seen it uh, go check it out there are some beautiful energies as well that i hope you will find them inspiring they they will definitely add up to those messages today um, and the messages for your uh, sign in the next couple days now with, with that being said, um, I don't want the introduction to be too long. If you enjoy time with me, if you enjoy this reading, a warm invite uh, to subscribe, leave a like, comment, um, and let's get to it. I hope you enjoy today's reading. So as I said, the first card is the peacock and it says the peacock will give you poise and pride. Uh, and I put it like together one on another with the awaken card. Because there's something about awakening the peacock that I am picking up from those two. Okay? So the peacock will give you poise. So like self-assurance. Um, and, and this awaken blazing star. Awakening of the beautiful peacock. Um, or actually awakening its birth really. Like a blazing star in full glory. In full beauty, impossible not to notice this peacock, him or her. It's not gender specific, okay? The Awaken card, um, there's transformation. You can see this moth right here because this is the Night Flowers Oracle. So this is a night butterfly, so a moth. But it still speaks of transformation, metamorphosis, change. can speak of rebirth, right? So it makes sense with this awakening of the peacock a, a wonderful glowing transformation okay that that is what i'm getting um from this the peacock says show yourself okay don't hide uh yourself your beauty and most importantly recognize it you have to recognize it first so that then you show it to others be proud of yourself uh, including your past stop thinking what you could have done better or different mm. And be happy about yourself where you are now and go with the flow of life, okay? Uh, see it as a journey, as an adventure that is full of quests. And be committed to your happiness and growth. Smile at yourself in the mirror. Give yourself more recognition for where you have come and who you are, okay? Look at yourself proudly. This awakening, this transformation with this card taking place at night with the moon, which is a symbol of intuition. This is a deep inner journey, a deep inner transformation and awakening. So it feels very spiritual as well. It's really on all levels, like mind, body and soul. Um, we often think that we are like fully aware or awake, uh, but realize with the awaken card realize that there is so much more to explore and learn okay reach for the higher levels uh, trust your intuitive hints um, and guidance so again that that moon right and pay attention to your feelings your hunches 
your daydreams. And your dreams as well, not only daydreams. Um, night dreams as well. And the Botanical Oracle co comes to you with um, the Adversity card, um, which speaks of some kind of distress or misfortune. But the message of the card uh, is, is different. It says, the sweetness can arise even from uh, the most um, direst circumstances. Okay, so adversities are also on our way for us to learn, grow, um, and create that, eventually create that sweetness outcome that we desire, success, happiness, etc. Okay, rest and self-care are also important and are highlighted. Take any challenges one at a time. Cultivate your energy wisely. Okay, um, just like diamonds are created under pressure. This peacock is arising um, like the phoenix from the ashes, okay? Shaped and transformed by those past uh, adversities and experiences, okay? The marshmallow, which is uh, the plant highlighted in this card, it's, it's not focusing well, but that is the plant, the marshmallow. Um, it can grow from the ashes and that's that's a fact, okay? That, uh, that's a, a, a nature's fact. So uh, it is highlighted the ability to rise from the ashes and that phoenix rising. Okay, now the runes card uh, is the rune fa. Now, I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly. It doesn't matter. What it says is, and listen to this, the, this rune is about igniting an ignition or starting a fire. So from the ashes, uh, this... Um, this transformation, fire is a very transformative energy. Um, it has obviously a few more meanings, uh, but this fiery energy is the main influence here and for your energy for May. It's about being able to manage all your energies and being able to transform, especially those destructive, into something productive or creative. So huge metamorphosis transformation with this moth um, and, and with the phoenix rising um, transformation on all levels and isn't that a beautiful thing to be able to do to transform our destructive uh, tendencies emotions habits etc into something productive good something for our benefit that's an amazing thing to be able to do um, inner strength and power are highlighted the desire to reach some kind of a goal a dream that is rising in you it may be already for quite some time uh, it also highlights being decided having ideas uh, already having ideas for solutions to any kind of like challenges okay it is extremely extremely important that you remain honest uh, with yourself but also with others and honest and authentic okay that you follow your truth don't pretend someone else someone who you are not and more importantly don't hinder and suppress that beautiful peacock that you are okay um and, and this is amazing because this room says exactly what the peacock card or the peacock uh medicine show yourself okay um and and i think that's uh, what I'm going to put as the title of, of your reading. Show yourself. Um, if you are in time of any doubts, trust your inner voice, trust your intuition, the higher power that you connect with. Uh, and remember um, about appreciation and gratitude for you already have, for what you already have. Now moving on to your tarot cards, we have the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups shells in this particular deck but four to the five of cups and the queen of cups from another deck um, so that is beautiful yeah, a beautiful combination of cards water signs um, cancer scorpio pisces they had all swords here uh, and you have all uh, all cups so this is water emotions feelings um, our soul spirituality the realm of creativity uh, and love obviously so because we have this um, transition here from four to the five of cups, I do feel that the four of cups or shells, as I said in this deck, is the energy of the past, okay? Because it refers to the soul searching um, and some kind of re-evaluation. You may be still doing this, 
it may not be a closed process, but you started it in the past and it already brought you to certain conclusions, realizations, etc. Right? And so it brought you to the five of cups or five of shells. You have this uh, firefly, is that the name of the bug? Uh, where we have a reference to hope and readjustment. So this firefly, uh, there is light that showed up something has come to light or something has ignited a truth can came out enlightenment on all levels but i strongly feel primarily this is an emotional and spiritual enlightenment with the cups energy and then the queen of cups she's driven by love um, this is feminine energy regardless of gender but she's driven by love someone driven by love i should say gentle very caring deeply intuitive empathic psychic um, very sensual, creative, artistic, um, soft and very subtle feminine energy. She is the queen of that emotional realm. Um, and she handles the cup of emotions that she's, hand she's holding. She handles it with absolutely perfect balance and grace. Um, and I want to say she is the beautiful peacock that we have as the first card, as the animal uh, spirit for your reading so that's a huge transformation as I said on all levels but primarily emotional can be very sensual as well um, for for some of you it may be like coming in tune or in, in balance and harmony with your feminine energy and again regardless of, of gender um, so I really like this I really resonate with this energy and it makes me feel good so this beautiful transformation, a glow up, um, a return to, to life, a metamorphosis. Um, I'm wishing you a beautiful May. Um, I said in the April readings that April is one of the most powerful months in 2022. Now May is uh, like, it, it's a lot more intense. So, but in a good way, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, please take care of yourself and I will be seeing you soon. Bye.